In this tutorial we're going to have a look at some of the key features of the plot window in Magic Q. The plot window is available as part of Magic Q or as an external window of Magic Q on all PC systems. It's also available as a window on the MQ80 console and also Pro 2014 consoles. For other consoles such as Pro 2010 series consoles or the MQ60 console you can still access the plot window via networking your console to a PC and having the plot window on the, on the screen of your PC. So to open the plot window we can either view it as part of the Magic Viz window so we can toggle to the plot view on the visualizer. You'll find there's also split views which allow you to view both the visualizer and the plot window together. I'm just going to leave the visualizer at the Viz view for now and open the plot window on the Magic Q system. On the Magic Q system you can open the plot window via the group window, you'll find the view plot button here, or also from the window toolbar at the top. The plot window shows you exactly what you've got in the visualizer. It takes all of its arrangement from how you've set Magic Viz up. If you're not sure how to set Magic Viz up, have a look at our tutorial on Magic Viz. In the plot window then, we have different options on our soft buttons around the side of the screen, so we can zoom on the window, scroll X and Y to move around the window. We also have a filter so we can filter by what we're actually seeing in our plot. If I reset the view here back to see everything in the plot, we can toggle through the filter and see what's on our different objects, so what we've attached to objects. We can see different groups of fixtures so I can go through, these are showing my groups from Magic Q of different fixtures and view those from the plot window. If I reset the view back again, so we're viewing everything. We can select fixtures in this window as well, so I can see my fixtures on the truss here. We can click and drag. If you've got a touch screen, you can click and drag on a touch screen to select your fixtures. We can see they're selected in the visualizer over here. If I now locate those fixtures, I've selected them and located them in the programmer. I've got different controls for moving these fixtures around in the plot as well. So you'll see at the top here, focus on target, and focus hold. Focus on target allows you to select and then click once to position your selected fixtures wherever you click. The focus hold option allows you to click and drag to move the fixtures around the plot window. This goes directly into the programmer so you can go and record a cue in one position, move the fixtures to the next position and record another cue there. If I clear my programmer and play back this stack we can see the two cues I've recorded there to chase. Another view you've got in the plot window is the design view. The design view allows you to actually start positioning some of the, the objects in the visualizer as well. And this is a fairly new feature for anyone who might have used a plot window already. So the design view allows me to select objects like this truss here and I can actually move that around in my visualizer. You can use the change elevation tool, which is also available in the normal view heads view, to change and say, view my plot from the front, and then I can dra grab that truss, drop that down, change its position. So that's some of the key features of the plot window. For further information on the plot window, have a look at our manual here.